Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on calculating the mean correlation from a correlation matrix using SPSS. In the data editor in SPSS, I have fictitious data. I have 10 items, and we can assume these are items from a psychometric instrument. And each of the values ranges from 1 to 10. So we can produce, with these data, we can produce a correlation matrix to view the correlations between all the items. However, we also want to be able to calculate a mean correlation, the average correlation for the correlation matrix. Usually when we're creating a correlation matrix, we'll go to Analyze and Correlate and Bivariate. In this left list box where we have the variables, click Control A and move them over to the variables list box on the right. However, under the options, there are no options for mean correlation using this method. So if I click OK, I have a correlation matrix here along with the p-value and the sample size. So as you can see from this table, we don't have the mean correlation and to calculate it would be somewhat difficult because we have to copy and paste these data into Excel. However, we can also produce a correlation matrix using Analyze, Scale, and Reliability Analysis. So with this dialog, with the Reliability Analysis dialog, again in this left list box that contains the variables, Control A, and move them all over into the Items list box on the right. The model default is set to alpha. I'll just leave that. And then under statistics, to produce the correlation matrix, I'm going to select correlations under the inter item frame. And I'm also going to select correlations in the summaries frame. And click continue. And then click OK. So here we have the correlation matrix similar to the one that we generated from the bivariate correlation function, except we don't have the p-values or the sample sizes. It's just the correlation. And then under that correlation matrix, we have this summary item statistics table. And here we have the mean correlation, the minimum and maximum correlation values, as well as the range, the maximum divided by the minimum, the variance, and the number of items. Now it's not unusual in situations like this when working with a correlation matrix to copy and paste this into Excel to run different analyses. And I want to show you an important distinction between how SPSS calculates this mean and how Excel could calculate this mean. So if I were to copy this inter-item correlation matrix, control C, and move over to Excel, and this is just an empty worksheet in Excel. Control V, that will paste the output from SPSS. And if I build a function to calculate the mean correlation, I'll do that over here in column M. This will be average. And then if I select the entire range of correlation values and click Enter, you can see the correlation is point 126. If I go back to SPSS, we can see that the mean correlation is actually 0 0.029. And the reason we have different values here is because using this function in Excel, the inter-item correlations between the same items is recorded. So between an item and itself, the correlation is always going to be 1. SPSS ignores that value and calculates the mean based on the other correlations. In this function I configure here in Excel, all of the values are included. That's why it's returning the incorrect value here for the mean correlation. The value should be 0 0.029. So if I were to go through and delete all the ones, we can see now that the function Excel, the average function, is calculating the accurate mean correlation, 0 
So it's important here to recognize that SPSS and Excel treat these data differently. I hope you found this video on calculating the mean correlation in SPSS to be helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to assist you.